Laughing Lofty, I can walk in about 5 minutes from the hostel when I leave. At first, it was a land that I had a walk for purpose of taking a walk. But it happened that there are many cemeteries. So I uh, saw when I checked the history. I learned many things. This time, I will talk a little bit about the history of Elia and the history of Finland. This area is mostly occupied by a park and the cemeteries. You will able to see a rich nature and a many kind of a graveyard while walking. At first, I was very surprised in that variety of cemetery types because all the cemeteries we can see in Japan are very similar. I find that, that there are five kinds of graveyards in the Latin Lofty. From the north, there are Judaism, Christian Lutheran, Finnish Guard, uh, Christian Orthodox, and Muslim towns. The history of the Finnish cemetery is surprisingly short, beginning with the creation of the Lutheran cemetery in 1055. It was made in 1822 in the fourth uh, oldest Lutheran grave in Finland. It is said that it's the oldest graveyard if it is existing now. Historical celebrated in Finland has been buried since the 1820s. There is an old chapel built in 1872 and a new chapel built in the 1933. The new chapel was under repair and could not be seen well. Finland's first Lutheran cemetery was built in the old churchyard in the 1550s. Variable dead were buried under the church as a builder at the time. Then there are only Lutheran cemetery in Finland until uh, 1815, when the Orthodox cemetery was built. As there are rich nature and a beautiful scenery, why not take a look at it by all means? Most of the place I was working on the first day were here. There is a first cemetery and the chapel in Finland. The cemetery was built in 1850 and the Holy Ella Chapel is uh, uh, 1852 and the Holy Ella Chapel in the 1958. In the 19th century, Finnish Christianity was mostly Lutheran and Orthodox was built, uh, buried along with the Lutheran. After the surrender of the Somerina in 88, uh, Judaism as well as uh, Islam. Also called Christian Orthodox followers uh, when the Russian army took uh, Somalina as a camp. However, since there was uh, no suitable place for the graveyard in the Somalina, Orthodox commander required the graveyard. As a result, for the first time, a cemetery was opened in Helsinki. It was found across the road from the Finnish guard graveyard. It's a Finnish military organized in 1817 after the Somerina because of a Russian military camp. It seems to be an excellent uh, elite team in the world. Duchess of Finland. They are active in the Polish uprising, the Turkish war, and the Christian war. I didn't think that I couldn't see so much history in the graveyard alone. Japanese has a little bit of graveyard nord because there is no history aggression.
I was a well uh, throughout the survey, but I decided to give up on the way to Judaism and the Muslim town on the way, and to give up to the physicality geared from Finland, where I in intend to go last. It was originally built in 1841 in the psychiatry building of the first time. In 2008, the hospital was closed under the mental insurance. It was now used as a place of the workshop for artists and the companies. And here opened a new trend a pennant contest in the spring this year. Now it's used for many people as a cafe and a restaurant and a art club and a workshop. And the red bricks building next to the psychologic uh, war yard was uh, decorated with uh, various works and uh, that uh, like uh, art atelier and artist. Also, links from the roof are ex exceptional. You can enjoy tea time in the beautiful building at the cafe in the Latin Lastilade. The time to relax in the place that inspires many creators is exceptional. Recommended to share a light sandwich and a blueberry cake. A light sandwich is a lot of basil sauce with cheese and a flesh salad. The nut that the spring cleared uh, on the top bla uh, bled double the flagland and the crispy feelings. Live bled is not a unique sour, so you can eat it even if you are not good at it. The attraction of the blueberry cake is uh, the vanilla flavored sauce in the on top. It's so very dangerous. Oh, delicious! <laughs> I'm so sorry. So this sauce added to the taste of the, the, this dessert. Yeah, oh, it's a really nice taste, <laughs> not dangerous. <laughs> and I also searched according to the information in Wikipedia, but I don't, I don't find it. So I checked the cafe clicks uh, about the location of the cemetery, uh, Judaism and Islam. But I I went to the designated place, but it's not nothing. After all, I couldn't not find the Islamic cemetery actually. It was next to the Orthodox cemetery when I checked it again. Hmm. Since the information on the Wikipedia was a different, so please be light someone. <laughs> So a little bit talk about the Islamic graveyard. So Finland Islam is uh, well associated with the Tatarians. The Tatari Tatarians are Muslim Turkish temple who uh, came from Russia with a surrender of the Sormina as a family. And the cemetery was uh, built on the, this land. And they are present in Finland both as a soldiers as, and as a merchant of the uh, textile and the floor and the mats. In 1925, Finnish Muslims were able to flee uh, from their own uh, congregation. The freedom of the legion uh, afterwards uh, and enacted in 1922 and the Muslims still exist in the Finland. So when I checked, I actually went to the Philokratic yard with no idea what was going on after the Spring's tenant contest actually. But I was surprised in so because I don't I don't know think it uh, will become such a stylish cafe. The information on Wikipedia was a collect. Hmm. 
because I, I was uh, told by a clique and the cafe and that I, I know a cer certain amount of history. It was a trial of the idea this time, but it was very fun like a, a technologist to uh, decipher history from the things like this. So if you think that you want to continue this project as much as so you won't please later high high quality if you think that it is good. So okay that's all today. I have up updated the detail of this video on my blog. My blog links in the summary section below. And I will broadcast on you know almost every day and upload a picture to Instagram. So please check it out and don't forget to like and comment on this video. So thank you for always watching. So see you again. Bye.